everyone, Nick here. How's it going? Merry Christmas. And in spirit of the holidays, I figured I'd do a lighthearted but still very interesting video. Given the most recent resurgence of the Star Wars franchise, I thought it'd be cool to examine how much the Death Star would cost for a single day. For those of you that don't know or don't watch Star Wars, the Death Star is essentially this super terrifying weapon with a laser that can destroy entire planets. And it also just so happens that a British energy company looked at all of the available data and threw together an equally frightening budget of operation. They said the Death Star would cost a staggering 7.7 .7 octillion dollars a day. And for the record, an octillion is a one followed by 27 zeros. Let's check it out. Alright, jumping right into it, by far the biggest expense for the Death Star would be its laser, which is capable of destroying entire planets. For one, let's assume that you wanted to take out Earth and would require 10 to the 32nd power joules of energy to do so. The company estimates that the cost of destruction would be around 5.1 septillion dollars. Not to mention, we also need to factor in the cost of jumping to hyperspace. If you want to destroy planets in different galaxies, you have to get there quick enough to do so. And something that we often see in the Star Wars franchise is when all of the ships can jump to hyperspace and go between galaxies with ease. The company again estimates a single hyper jump to be around 1.1 septillion dollars. The math still is far from over, but we can already see that's more money than already exists in the world. So we are running into some huge potholes. So just for fun, why don't we factor in all of the silly stuff? Food for the crew of 2 million would cost about $300,000 a day. And not to mention lighting, because the Death Star has 400 levels that would in total require 191 billion light bulbs, which would cost $52 billion a day. And finally, we also have to consider the cost of recharging the laser after you use it on the first planet, which excitingly is more expensive than using it for the first time as well. Finally, how much would the Death Star cost to build? Well, interestingly, in 2013, a bunch of people had the same question and they petitioned the White House to build a Death Star of our very own. They responded in kind because the petition had gotten enough signatures and they said that it would cost an estimated 850 quadrillion dollars just to build the damn thing. Well, we can even go further because you can calculate costs of laundry, appliances, and water usage, but there's simply not enough time to go over over everything. In that vein, I'm going to provide you guys with a ton of links because I think this is a super interesting topic that you can spend hours on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short, but I wanted to do something fun for Christmas, and I know that I'm going to have a killer amount of content coming towards you guys pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for making it this far. Click my links down below to read my Huffington Post articles and follow me on social media when you can. Thanks, guys.